Okay, I will walk you over assignment 2 now. Enterprise reporting with BEX analyzer. Remember that we have to have the answer written down to each question asked and also we have to have the screenshot for each question. Okay, now the hint is very important uh, in the very first page of the assignment that unless otherwise specified remove all applied filters before proceeding with the next step okay so we have to remove all filters uh, when we go to the next step we will keep the filters only when we are asked to keep it okay so i open it so i go to start all programs remember from business explorer i do not go to business explorer 3.x but i come to analyzer directly here so I click on analyzer, <coughs> then I add in, I open query and uh, I have to log in. So I'm logging in with my own ID and password. You do it with your own ID and password. You enter. Then I can just go to roles, curriculum V02, double click and I get to see the OLAP Global Bike 617, that's my query. Remember, I cannot save anything here, so don't save anything. Just manipulate, okay, and find out the result. So I'm here, then I have to find out what is the revenue for internet sales in Australia, okay? So let me have my Word document. Question one. what is the revenue for internet sales in Australia. So now I find out from the filter, okay, I click on the filter, my country is Australia. So I can choose only single values and I choose Australia okay and my distribution channel is inter internet so I go to my single value and I choose internet so question is what is the revenue for internet sales in Australia so revenue is this column internet sales I have so this is my Revenue for internet sales in Australia 7641689.90. Okay, so 7641689.90 Australian dollars. Okay, so this is my revenue for internet sales in Australia, and I can just take a screenshot and I can put it in my what document okay then question number two is what is the sales quantity for wholesale for the first quarter of 2007 in the United States. So I go here, I remove all filter, back to start. And now it is for United States and for wholesale. So I go for uh, filter value, wholesale, okay. I go for United States, so I can just choose the country here, United States. okay and sales quantity but first quarter of 2007 so the month is select filter value January to March that is my first quarter and year is 2007 so I select filter value I choose 2007 so now I have everything sales quantity for wholesale for the first quarter of 2007 in the United States so my sales quantity is 2221 IT 2221 IT 
and then I take a screenshot and I paste it over here that's my two then what is my three three is beach cells organization has the highest revenues in USD okay so I go to once again remember if I am not told I have to go back to start if I was not told otherwise so which sales organization has the highest revenues in USD you see all different revenues here uh, for different Australia revenue is different and uh, so on and so forth so what I do is I have to do USD so I go here sales organization <coughs> I go for query properties I go to currency conversion I convert from to USD American dollar and the currency translation BI curriculum and then I fixed it okay so which sales organization has the highest revenues in USD highest revenue in USD so let me sort uh, revenues I go to properties I go to sorting I do ascending <coughs> highest revenue is then US 3 I uh, Australia 3 right uh, Brisbane sales organization is a US 3 because it has the highest at 48,000 actually not 48,000 but uh, it's 48054767 so which sales organization a US 3 okay and then I have my print screen and I paste it over here now my question 4 what overall result value is shown for the discount per item column so I have to have a discount per item column so for that I have to click on the key figures then I have to go to add local formula and this is discount per item that's what I have to add and the formula is discount okay and divided by sales quantity discount divided by sales quantity and I add it so I get a new column here discount per item and it asks me what overall result value is shown for the discount per item column so overall is 98.33 so I can just say uh, 98.33 IT and I can just take a screenshot and I can put it over here okay now next one five which sales organization has the highest discount per item okay so it is telling me that right click on any discount per item values create condition and I have to set threshold value okay my threshold value is 5 so I put 5 and then I come here again and I create condition and I go to discount per item top 5 okay so I retain the top 5 and it asks me which sales organization had the highest discount per item so it is Melbourne right so it is US AUS Australia to Melbourne so I put in uh, AUS to Mel B-O-U-R-N-E and then I have my thing print screen and I am done with my assignment ok so this is my desktop
assignment 2 and now it becomes my key and then you go back sorry you can back to start and remember do not save anything so just say no and you are done